Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to be looking into the addition of two 8-bit numbers using 8086 processor. And the tool that we are using over here is EMU8086. So you can download this tool from online. And uh, now we will be looking into how we will be executing this particular program. So here I'm going to add two 8-bit numbers which are available in AL and BL register. And I'm going to store the carry if it it occurs into another location so we will be looking into this program first on an outline this ALP assembly language program then we will go into the execution part so first I'm going to have a particular input over here that is 255 255 is equivalent to value is FF so you can verify that for example if you are having a decimal value 255 its equivalent hexadecimal value is FF over here so I'm going to give my first input as FF and my second input is going to be 01. So the reason for this is I'm going to generate a carry and check whether it is verified over here. So first what I'm going to do give AL equal to 255 which is nothing but FF and next I'm going to give BL, BL register which is 01. So I'm going to add these two values and you may be aware that the carry flag is going to be enabled over here. So next what I need to do is I'm going to store this particular value of the addition output into a particular location. So for that I'm going to specify my segment register and my offset, offset address. So both of these combined together forms the logical address. You may be aware of that. So data segment plus my offset and what is moved into this? the AL register. You may be aware that in 8086 the data on the right side will be moved to the left side so everything that is happening over here add AL comma BL also BL and AL are added and the result is stored in AL register. So I have stored my particular output in this particular uh, uh, segment register value with an offset over here. The output is going to be 00, 0 because there is a carry generated next what am i going to do is i'm going to initialize the al value to zero so this is because i'm going to do the carry part over here i need to move the carry to an output location so what i'm going to do is i'm going to initialize the al register to zero zero okay al register whatever value was there is now moved to a location so i don't have to worry about that now in the next step over here i'm going to initialize the al value to zero zero next you may note that i'm going to give a statement which is adc it is not add again it is adc so what is going to happen over here adc al al what does it mean al register is added with al register again and the carry flag is also added with that so that is the difference between normal addition normal addition is al plus bl that's it adc means al plus al plus my particular carry flag so you know that my particular uh, al value is zero again my al value is zero so zero plus zero is zero and the carry flag according to my inputs that i provided here the carry flag is enabled so it is one so one plus zero plus zero my output is going to be one and next what am i going to do that particular al value which is one is moved to the next memory location over here so this is how i'm going to add two 8-bit numbers and the carry is also being stored into a memory location so for that you type this program you're going to save it as usual and when you give emulate two new windows come into picture over here the program that you had typed over here which is your original source and the program and you can see that with the memory locations available over here you can see that your program is available over here on this particular ALP you can see that all the decimal values that you had given has now been converted into hexadecimal values and the corresponding opcode of that particular or hexadecimal value of that particular instruction is available here. So you can see that the offset address is 0100 in my code segment. My code segment value you can see CS is equal to 0700. So 0700 and my offset address is 0100 here. So both of these combined together forms the logical address for my code. Similarly for my data I have given it is the same ds over here which is 0700 you can probably initialize it to another value also you can initialize it to 0800 or some other value which you prefer so for example you can see that move ds colon 0200 so 0800 should be typed over here and your value of 0200 should be provided over here to check your output okay so now we will go into the part where we will start executing one step after the other 
and you can see that move al comma 0 ff so here you can see you have all the a a ax register bx register cx register dx register here it is the ah al bh pl cx chl dx dl all the registers are available here so individually they form 8 bit registers combined together they form 16 bit registers over here so i have my particular ff value to be moved into al so after this step my AL register will have this value of FF over here. My second input is 0, 01 and this 0, 01 is now moved to BL register so it will be moved over here. So single step run I have 0, 01 moved over here. Next what I have to do is I have add AL comma BL. So I need to add FF and 0, 01 so I will be getting a sum of 00, 0 and a carry of 1. So where do I see my carry? So you can enable this particular flags over here. You can see that all the use, uh, flags over here, not all the flags, uh, you can see that uh, few of the flags which are useful for us, there are totally nine flags in uh, 8086. You can see that few of the flags over here which we will use is available here. You, you can see as of now the carry flag is disabled and the zero flag is disabled. But after this step you can see that my sum is going to become zero and my carry is going to become one. So when I enable, when I give this single step over here, you can see that my zero flag has been enabled because my output has become zero and the carry flag has been enabled because a carry was generated over there. Okay. So add AL comma BL. So this is what is happening at the output over here. My AL value becomes zero and my carry flag is enabled over here. This is my important part because remaining part of the program depends upon this carry flag being one over here. Similarly, what is happening in the next step? I'm having, I'm initializing my data segment value. So I have initialized my data segment to 0800. So that is being executed over here. And next, what am I going to do? I am moving the value to an offset address in the data segment of 200. So 00 is moved to a value of 200 over here. So that is what this step is all about. So you can say that you can you will be able to see that after some time i will go into that 0800 after the carry is completed so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to initialize my al to 00 already it is initialized in initialized to 00 so there won't be much changes over here it is already 00 now i'm adding carry with al and again al again so what am i going to get over here my AL now value is going to be updated with 0, 01 because AL is 0, AL is again 0 here. So 0 plus 0 plus my carry flag 1. So my output is going to be 1 over here. And so my AL value becomes 1 over here. Now I need to move this to a memory location and I'm moving it to the adjacent next memory location over here. Again, my data segment is initialized over here. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this AL value of 0, 01 to the look offset address of 201. The segment address is 0800 and the offset address is 201 over here. So after this execution, it would have been moved over there. Now, these are the locations of code segment 0700 here. So I need to move it. I need to check the data on my particular data segment so 0800 and my location is 0200 okay so you can see that in 0200 and you give enter over here you can see that your sum value of 0 is available over here and your carry value in 201 0201 that particular value of carry is available over here so this is how you will be executing this particular program with the carry. So if you want to do it without a particular carry, you can give a small, some other small value, for example. So let's give us another smaller value here. So for example, you can give 100, so 100 plus 1. So now we will emulate this particular value. The corresponding hexadecimal value for 100 is 64 and the input is 1 over here. Now you can see that there will not be a carry generated over here. So we will run this program. 64 is moved here. 01 is moved here. And these opcodes, I just wanted to tell you, the first opcode move AL, its equivalent opcode is B0. The input 64 is coming here. Similarly, for uh, next input, add BL, the corresponding opcode is B3. And move BL comma 01, what value is to be moved, that is 01 over here. Then I have add AL comma BL, it's opcode. So the corresponding opcodes of the program that you have provided is the one specified in green over here. And the corresponding decimal number of this equivalent hexadecimal number is the one on the right side over here. 
So this is your add AL comma BL. So 64 plus 1, it is sorry, 64 plus 1 is going to become 65. 65 and 65 is different in hexadecimal. That is why I'm telling it in that way. I hope you know that. Next one is I'm moving it to the I'm initializing my data segment value here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm moving it to this offset address 0 to 0, 0, whatever value was there in AL, that is 65. So I'm moving that over here. Now again, I'm initializing my AL value to 0, 0. And again, I'm going to add with the carry. So my carry was not generated over here as of now, you may remember because 64 plus 1 is just 65. No carry is going to be generated and zero flag is also not going to be enabled over there. So next one, I'm going to move and uh, uh, there is no change over here. My AL value is going to be staying at 0, 0. Next, I'm going to update my data segment value and I'm going to move the carry that is 0, 0 to this 201 location and I'm executing that. So now I'm going to go to the location. I have not specified the location as data segment 0800. I have just specified it as 0700 here. So what I have to do is I have to keep this 0700 here and now I have to go to 0200. So 0200 and you can see that my sum of 65 is available over here and my carry of 00, 00 is available over here. So I hope you understand that when you need to change the data segment value, you need to change it before this DS line is executed. That is the thing that you need to do. Before this DS line is executed, you need to change this value from 0700 to the other specified value that you want to 0800 for example. So this is how you will be adding to 8-bit numbers and I have given you an example of how to do it with carry and without carry. Thank you.